What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those that are new, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm gonna give you a quick update on the GR86. We just installed a few videos ago uh, the Zebulon rear wing, which is working really, really well, even at zero degrees angle of attack. Waiting for a front splitter, uh, race spread, so let's get that going. Um, in this video, we're mainly going to be cutting out some drag, uh, but I want to give a quick update for those that have been following me. Thank you so much. And if you just clicked on this video, thank you too. This is my 22 GR86. With me in the car, full tank gas, it weighs 2850. It's still on the Ecutech kind of beta software testing. It made on a low reading dyno, 224. Uh, the tuner said that it's probably about 20 wheel low, so 240. I'm not going to say that because I haven't done it yet. This car was built around kind of two different um, racing, I guess, platforms or whatever, where I'm going to track one with Grid Life and Club TR, and also with NASA because those are the two that I'm mainly going to be with. Um, I might do some SCCA stuff. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. The car was bought over a year ago. We wanted to do some track rat stuff, our club TR stuff, and NASA TT5. But I'm slowly mod modifying the car out of TT5 into TT4. No big deal. I just know I gotta cut a bunch of weight out of the car. Uh, so that's what we're gonna start working on. Um, you know, more seat time and working my way up to getting my TT license. So with that being said, Let's jump into the video and cut that rear bumper. Stay tuned. All right, so like I said, we're gonna be cutting the rear bumper. Now, I haven't seen this done, so I'm kind of excited. A um, little nervous, you know, because I can't undo this. But for those that run a single exit exhaust, it's so open under here that as you're driving on track, this acts like a parachute and it's slowing me down. And anything that slows me down just needs to get out of my way. All right, so let's take a better look at what's going on under here. So the factory exhaust, as you know, it's like almost like this little suitcase thing. It came out over here and then over there for weight and stuff. And you know, this exhaust is pretty cheap. It's the HKS high powered single exit. Um, so we ran that, but as we're on track, air is just getting, you know, this thing is just like grabbing it and it's slowing me down. We're also gonna remove this heat shield. Um, Probably doesn't weigh much, but I, I don't need it, so we're gonna get rid of it. Again, we're trying to pull a bunch of weight out. So, I haven't seen anyone do this yet. I'm basically gonna take like an air saw, and we're just going to follow this line. And we're gonna cut all of it out. So the tools we're gonna be using is this, uh, I call it an air saw, reciprocal saw. Um, Picked it up at Harvard Freight, I don't know, like 20 bucks. We're gonna need that, and obviously, we're gonna need a compressor. We're gonna plug it in there. I'm going to remove that side of the cap, remove the license plate. We're gonna remove this, there's just a bunch of clips and probably the harness. Um, and then start to the cut. I don't know how necessary it was to remove the license plate, but we're gonna pull all these little clips out.
Gosh, what a pain to push that clip in. But anyway, this is the uh, the harness for it. It's so dark, but it's there. Just kind of push that in and it pops off. And your uh, reverse lights are now gone. So continue that theme of removing clips. So now the bumper, it doesn't have any support and mainly it's just clipped on. There's a, a bracket back here that kind of keeps everything sturdy. All right, so here's a better view. So this is that bracket that actually hangs on to this thing here and there's one more down there. But if you look, all that air is being scooped up, up into the bumper past the bumper beam up there it's tough to see but uh we're gonna be eliminating all this also i noticed at sebring that the exhaust it's hard to see here started to rub see the head of that bolt it started making this hole right here so that's just one more reason to get rid of it Okay, so now that all the clips are gone, we pulled the uh, reverse light off the little harness there. I'm probably going to pull the rear bumper just to be, you know, just in case. I don't want to, I want to just make sure everything that's down there, I'm not going to like hit, cut if there's a, a harness or whatever's going on down there. Like I, I want to be able to see. So we're just going to pull the rear bumper off. And who knows, maybe I can put it up on my bench and just cut it a little bit better. Um, so I believe, I mean, I've never done this, but I'm just gonna pull this off. We might have to pull the tail light off, I'm not sure. Uh, I just wanna make sure that there's not any bolts in here. So we're gonna do that now. I don't really have a plastic pry tool, so we're gonna use a small little crowbar and a rag. Yes, there is a screw here and here that holds the bumper. I don't know if I need to remove the tail light. It doesn't look like it right now at the moment. We're gonna find out. So these are the screws that I was telling you about. want to this is a push in you want to push the center in and then pull it the outside of it out all right so this is what I was just talking about you would push the center of that clip in and then pull the outside of it out and let's see if I can pull this bumper off pretty easy. There's a uh, clip you want to disconnect that's here. 
Nah, it came right off. Not too bad. So this is kind of what I want to figure out here. Because I will no longer have it. But based off of some of the clips that I see, this might be a single piece that is not connected to the fender well here or the wheel well. So should be good. Actually, it actually would work out good because I don't want, you know, because this your tires produce like um, a lot of high pressure because they're rotating. So if you can, you know, kind of remove this piece here, which will allow to get some of that high pressure out of this area, which, you know, should help a little bit in some downforce. I just wanted to double check that as I'm cutting with this air saw that I'm not going to hit this guy, which looks like it has to do with maybe the airbag or something. I don't know. Certain sensors and stuff like that. So... It looks good. Actually, I'm glad I pulled it off to get to these clips because I want to say this is just a single piece right here and uh, the wheel well separate, which is good. And here's the inside of it. So if you look closely, I'm going to be cutting out this second line here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just start pulling clips off. always that one that just doesn't want to leave. Oh, there it is. And I believe you can see the back side of the other little push pin or clip. And I think this will come out, fingers crossed, as one little kind of piece. There's that. Oh, there's one more clip. One, two, three. Sweet. So that's the piece there. Now look how much room we have to get rid of some of that high pressure, you know? So, which is good. Now we'll do the other side, cut the bumper, and actually, there's a clip here and this clip here, so this the wheel well is not going to be flapping around, which is cool. There's some support here. Gosh, it looks so cool from behind now. Um, I believe that's a 10 millimeter. This is the uh, support for the bumper. We'll do that the other side. So you can kind of see on the exhaust where I think the bumper was rubbing. Cool, I'm excited. That actually worked out really, really well. So there's that, it just kinda hooks up here, unbolts there, and it actually, this is where it was. All right, so kind of tough to see, but you got the clip there and that one in there, which is that hole there. <sighs> Everything looks good. I love now from the back of the car, all you see is all that money that you spend. Sway bars, lower control arms, coilovers. All that good stuff. All right, now that we have some light, this is what it looks like from behind. Obviously without the bumper, but looks more race car now. Now, all we have to do is, like I said, we're gonna cut along. 
I'm probably going to start on this this line here because if I always if I screw up I can go up here and if I really screw up then I'll just follow that line but you know hopefully I don't screw up and we'll just follow this we're gonna cut get yourself some uh, you know glasses safety glasses whatever I pulled I already had that one off for the tow hook I pulled it off so I can easily slide the tool in here and like I said we're just gonna take our time and uh, kind of follow that outline. Wish me luck because I don't have uh, steady hands, you know, I might be uh, making a new design back here. harness even though it's out of the way I just knew I felt something so I stopped and uh, we're literally going right under this here so I'm cutting a little under the line and I can always just come back with like a sander or something to kind of smooth it out and that's probably what I'm gonna do but um you know learn from my mistake even though we didn't cut anything these just slide right off at least this one did. But anyway, we're gonna continue the cut and uh, we'll be done. Actually, I'm gonna actually keep this here. If I cut any higher, I'll be losing this piece. this harness away which you know I have to figure out now what I want to do for reverse legs but that's easy I can probably mount something in here that will just light up but um put this clip on so that ain't gonna hang we're good 
good there. That's it. I, uh, I'm pumped. I'm gonna pull the car out of the garage. We're gonna move this, this heat shield and we'll get some better angles with some more light outside. But, uh, oh yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that sub 230 mark at Seabrook now. You watch. So now, you know, we're gonna reassemble. We're gonna push in all the clips. We're gonna push in, you know, the little, that section with the uh, tail light. You know, put the pins back in there for the fender well, uh, wheel well, whatever, so it doesn't rub. But it looks so mean. Oh, I can't wait. All right, now just go ahead and put all the clips in. There's really only gonna be three now. So the two for the fender well in here and the one up here. Now I notice there's some play. Well, obviously, because we took out all the support. But I didn't cut, there's a hole right here. So we're gonna use that to support the lower part of the bumper so it doesn't flap around. Well, the uh, bumper's back on. I pulled the uh, the exhaust little shield out. It didn't really weigh anything at all. Um, I mean, it's not gonna be heavy. I'm gonna pull the car out. I'm gonna wash it. Sun is slowly going down. We just washed the car. Let's give you some better shots. basically gonna do it for the install here but I want to go ahead and kind of show you what I'm working on so this you know now that you pulled all the support out your bumper is gonna flop around which is no good I just went to Home Depot got like some angle iron and it is solid um, I'll get under there let me grab a light and I'll show you what I'm talking about all right, so 
for right now, I'm gonna clean this up, but I'm still using the factory clips with the holes here. I screwed this one into it to give it some support so it won't move around. So if you ever wanted to like pull the bumper off, it's literally one clip, two, and then one back there. And um, it's not gonna go anywhere, you know, fingers crossed. So this is uh, what it looks like again. Pretty cool, I can't wait to, uh, oh. And you really can't see that from behind. I mean, I guess maybe. Um, I'm gonna probably use some black paint, clean it up. You know, trim some of this stuff. I don't need it long. I just wanted to make sure that it's sturdy and it is sturdy compared to what you can't see over there. That, so anyway, that will do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.